and here we are now with uh, Rory and Ensley from uh, Happy Finish. They joined us this year and they set up this virtual reality uh, cricket. So guys, how's it for you so far? Good, exhausting, yeah, uh, exhausting. hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's gone really well. Uh, we've set up for about three days now and it's been a steady stream of people coming in. Um, lots of people interested in the cricket experience, which is, which, you know, it's, it's been gone great so far. Yeah, it's gone down really well. It's been really popular. Mm. And uh, tell us a little bit more about Happy Finish and uh, obviously you're pushing forward this virtual reality game. Uh, is that what your business is uh, moving forward with uh, the most at the moment or is there anything else that... Uh... So virtual reality is a really exciting technology for lots of people at the moment. Everybody wants to be in that space. Um, Happy Finish kind of made their name 12 years ago in retouching fashion images primarily. Um, but virtual reality became a big thing sort of three years ago and we've managed to carve out a little niche for ourselves uh, with 360 filming um, using quite complicated rigs with between 7 and 14 cameras. Um, and that's really what we're showcasing here, an example of that. So tell us, how come virtual reality has got such a momentum at the moment? So about three years ago there was a Kickstarter company called Oculus Rift um, that reinvented the virtual reality head-mounted display. Uh, they use mobile phone screen technology uh, with two cheap, cheap lenses uh, to create immersive 360 headsets that give you a, a, an ex that put you in the middle of an experience, put you in the middle of the action. Um, that Kickstarter company was very successful. Uh, Facebook uh, bought that company for two billion dollars, um, and the world got really excited about virtual reality. Um, at the moment, you've got uh, Google, Facebook, Oculus, Samsung, HTC, all trying to carve out a niche for themselves in that space. Uh, and the great thing is that these headsets are affordable. Um, so the idea is that most people will have access to one in their home or in their workplace or, or, or in their education facility in the near future. So besides you know, gaming, what yeah. are the different applications that can come up? Okay, so I like to split it into four different broad categories. Um, you can create experiences that are sort of high adrenaline pieces. So uh, if you imagine uh, you know, jumping out of a plane or doing something or going on a very fast roller coaster, so you have these high adrenaline pieces. You've also got conceptual pieces that are more art-like. Um, so I did a project that put you on a journey through an artist's mind and the creative decisions they make. Uh, you then have more telepresence pieces uh, that put you in a remote location where something else is going on. Uh, so empathy, uh, so putting you in somebody else's shoes. Um, we did a, I did a project uh, that, that put doctors in the position of a patient that was having a hyperglucemic attack for, for example. Um, so allowing people to get the feelings to, to, to relate to others uh, in a position they can't be in and there's lots of potentials for that. We're producing a project at the moment that simulates the symptoms of a migraine um, for, for sufferers. Uh, again, it's an empathy piece to make people know how it feels to be in somebody else's shoes. Well, that's fantastic. And um, so, what's the rest of the activities for you today? Well, so, what do we have booked? I mean, we have shots later on, we're here until about 6 pm. Um, and yeah, we, we have a stream of parties lined up because we're pretty cool people. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you very much. Thank and, you. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy Cannes. And uh, I'll see you by the bar. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs>